today we're going to talk about some of the common places of where you can stow a lift bag. To start with, we have a rigid aluminum back plate. This plate is equipped with a lift bag sleeve, and in this case, it's mounted at the base of the plate in a horizontal position. We use these two assembly screws to attach it to the plate, and it can be either in this horizontal position or in a vertical position on either the left or the right hand side of the plate and angled in a downward, downward position. With this particular sleeve, the lift bag is stowed inside via a Velcro flap, and when the time comes, the bag can easily be pulled out of the flap and deployed. Here we have a lift bag that's attached to the tech butt plate. Very versatile, this butt plate has a number of grommets, some of which are used to mount the plate to various systems such as a trans pack or a back plate. In addition, it has four additional grommets for which you can use a standard length bungee with the bungee coming through the opposite side at the back of the plate and the lift bag can then be stowed through that bungee. Another option for the placement of a lift bag is a bellows pocket. This is very convenient. Uh, not only can you place the lift bag in the pocket, but you can place additional items as well. The lift bag would generally be stowed in the pocket, and then whatever type of reel you're going to use to attach to the lift bag can be clipped off or placed in the second bellows pocket on the opposite side of the harness. Here we have the lumbar for the Transpac XT. This particular model has a built-in lift bag sleeve at the base of the lumbar. This is ideal for divers wearing doubles. Divers wearing singles may elect a separate option. With this particular system, the lift bag slides directly out from the base of the lumbar and stays out of the way, streamlined and secure for the rest of the dive. 